So it is actually different whatever equation you are using. Now for this equation, it probably would be easier to use graphing by table. And what I want you guys to do, if you guys remember when you first learned how to plot coordinate points, you guys might remember we have an X and we have a Y, all right? And what we're gonna choose, um, when you're gonna graph using a table, I want you guys to pick some values. Now to make this problem very simple, I'm just gonna pick some values for you. I'm gonna pick negative two, zero, and two, all right? Then what we need to do is we need to find out what the Y value is. So to do that, I'm gonna say, well, if I don't know what Y is, but I know that my X for this is equal to negative two. And for here, my X is equal to zero. And here, my X is equal to two. Do you guys see how what I did is I plugged in the X value for each, for each one of these equations, right? And if you guys remember, remember like functions, you plug in a different X. But let's see if we get a different Y. So two times negative two is negative four. Negative four plus four is zero. Two times zero is zero. Zero plus four is four. Two times four is four. Four plus four is eight. So then, when we first learned how to graph, what we did was we just plot the points. Well, you guys remember, these are two coordinates, so you can write this as negative two comma zero, zero comma four, and two comma eight. And if you guys notice, actually I have the x-intercept and y-intercept right here, right? But we can grab 2, 8, see if that's on there. So you just plot the points. Negative 2, 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And 2, 8. And what you guys notice is you get the same graph here. Okay? We'll do a lot more practice on there, but that's just a basic representation to do that. Okay? Thank you very much. Man, that was exciting.